I can see couriers flying in with the healing self. Not flying in, they're slowly walking. Bangos and the healing self or snaking. Glimpse, got to make sure you don't lose those couriers, but the glimpse back right towards the blood seeker. That's first blood. Nicely done by Skeeter. Skeeter, though, Dodges still under the tower and in charge. trouble. Still going to die here. And there is going to be another kill potentially. Ooh, Roche can't go that way. Skeeter into that rod of Atos like you were talking about. Charge going towards top, going towards 33. They're right on top him with the Firefly. They're burning Zai's mana. They're burning his life, but they just don't have enough yet. Now, 33, he's in the trees, but the charge is coming and it hits both heroes. So 33 now needs to get out of here as the bash is on to insane yet. Oh, in. All right, Skitter gets the bashes, gets the kill. They'll look for 33 still as Sox is now on to Zai. Zai with no mana. Foxy takes out this Batrider, but the, at the end of the day, they will lose this Medusa. Charge, Soxa uh, dead. I believe he also might have had shard from Tormentor. So, Ooh, Grandma Maze. Pounce. The leash. Oh, the Sonic Way Soxa. Whoa, getting blown up. Glimpse back. Nine. Now with the Bedlam. Well, not going to be enough. Bring in Box everybody. Still charging in. It's going to be on the creep, but they might catch snaking here as well. Yeah, no TP rupture, available. Sticky bomb. Nowhere to go. Can you get a neutral to kill him? No. And now they've got the lasso mid to finally kill Nisha, but that cost them a lot. Mm -hmm. 33. Losing his courier. Getting onto that Roche Memorial Cliff and back on down. Charge is coming, but Zai now right behind him. There's the time dilation. Charge making its way all the way through towards the tier one and a flame break to stop it. They've got the glimpse. It's onto the faceless void. They go to the Sonic Wave and well, 33, he's still alive. He's running away from this. And he's gonna he's, chase he, him he, down. Yeah, he he wants going to for dive, it. but by the tier three, oh. He turned. I think he wanted to get the blink into the lasso, but the chrono committed. Nisha, he is going to die for this to Soxa. <laughs> Diving tier three towers 10 minutes into the game. Insania, Sticky Bomb blast off. The damage with the Bramble Maze. Now the charge getting stopped thanks to the Bramble Maze. Another Sticky Bomb. Zai's here, though, so well, they'll have some help. Boxy will get the kill on a Snake King. Straight BKB. Always good for you and me. I'm sneaking. He's going to be caught again, it looks like. Blood right, kinetic field, nowhere to go. He ends up dead. Meanwhile, over mid, Nisha with the super, uh, this with the sonic wave. And, uh, well, oh, that's a nine trying to get out as nine will TP, but Saksa won't be so fortunate. Difficult aspect is being able to know when to jump in. Skitter this time can't time walk it off because it's in cooldown. And there is. Another strike oh, and no. some control. Static Storm, but Insania getting chased by 33. They've got Soxa off to the side. They'll get the kill on Insania. They'll look over for Boxy. He's trying to go right. He's trying to go left, making sure that he doesn't get pounced on again. But that's on cooldown for another 10 seconds. Time dilation, the charge attempt. But there is the flame break. That means he's staying right there without being exposed. Also, Spirit Breaker can charge you. Skitter, maybe trying to set something up here on Zai. He's got Chrono. Chrono Gaze. Charge coming in. Sonic Wave. Time Walk. There's the Bramble Maze. There's the Rod of Atos. Boxy charging all the way across. Has some help from Nisha. Goes to the Nether Strike, but they've got the Blast off. They get the kill on a Skitter. He's unable to survive the Bedlam. It's on a Boxy, but the Static Storm is placed down. They've got the Glimpse. It puts him on the other side of the Static Storm, so it's not going to connect on him completely. But Zai, Nisha, putting some right-click damage in onto 9, and they'll take him out of the number count. So, looking for more Soxa into the Shadow Dance. He's running from five heroes on the side of Liquid, but they're right there with him. Kinetic Field will stop him up, and they'll get another. Liquid, pop that scan and did connect, so they know something is up. Oh. When Insania's here, it gets a little bit hit touch and go, because they've got that glimpse. Ramble Maze, Zai still running forward, looking for the Terrorize. A fear in his eyes, and send him backwards, but... Charge in, Nether Strike, that lands onto nine, goes into the Shadow Realm. There's the Sonic Wave. Static Storm committed. They get the kill there onto one. Nine's out. Sticky Bomb thrown over, and that's 
all they're gonna get for now. Senia sits low, the flame break lands, that should burn him away. 33 though, now dominating, and might just give up that spree immediately. Nice, done by Sox. So the lasso, they're burrowing him in, they've got the chrono, he survives on the high ground, they get the kill to Boxy. They'll look over at Mickey, the turn is insane here for Tundra. They've got themselves a third, they'll look over at Nisha, the bashers are coming in quick for Skidder, and they'll take out this Queen of Pain. Zai, now trying a 1v1 fight, no, 2v1, no 3v1, no 4v1, Tundra showing up with numbers. They don't want to let Zai get away, but he'll TP before his HP is depleted. That was such a cool play there from Soxa. Well, two minutes left of this Aegis for Liquid. Charge on a Snake King all the way on the high ground. They've got the Kinetic Field. The Blood Rite is down. And they go to the Nether Strike. They should have this kill, but Yules is himself up into the air. They've got this as the Lasso. Snake King still alive, but the Sonic Wave finally hits. They get the kill on a Boxy. Static Storm committed, and the Sonic Wave with Stone Gaze. A little bit more tankiness, mana, movement speed. Exactly what Lasso. the do. Lasso again. Yep. Now oh, Insania. Blood right to silence him. This is a bit far, but they do have Terrorize. Now Nine looking for the positioning so he can use that Axe and start throwing some Shadow Realm strikes onto these heroes. And that's exactly what he's going to do on Anisha. They go to the Cursed Crown. When the time walk over, Mickey is going to die here to Nine. And now they'll take the Aegis out of the hands of the Queen of Pain. They don't have Bloodseeker. Nine doesn't have a lot of mana to work with, but it'll go to the Bedlam. Now they've got the Chrono. It's going to be right on top of the Queen of Pain. The Blast Off going to follow it up as well as the Sticky Bomb, but BKB as well as the Blink away. Nisha escaping for now. Rambo oh, is laid down nice. as well as the Cursed Crown. It's going to be on the Zai. They've got the Glimpse. It's on a Skitter, so... Another Lasso. Just escaping, but now they've got the Lasso <laughs> up once again. They'll pop the Lincolns, but it's not going to matter. They're still going to the Shadow Realm Strikes. They've got the Disarm on the Medusa. Static Storm not even going to save him, and they bought back on the Bloodseeker now. Trying to run. In Liquid, Skitter does kind have cornered chrono. here. Skitter doesn't want to initiate with the Chronos here, knowing that they don't have enough damage, might like catch someone. Most likely going to be using this time walk. The scouting's off. Potentially giving Slark a jump. Saxa, he's not too afraid to jump into a fight. Does have Shard, plus Shadow Dance, Heaven's Halberd, relatively difficult to burst immediately. Now Tundra, the ones are into Roche, and there's a smoke from Liquid. They've got Oxy back in two seconds, but look at that. Immediately out of the pit, breaking the smoke. Kinetic Field is up. They've got the Lincolns pop. Time dilation used. Disarm, though, onto Zai. So he's not really doing that much damage. They've got the last one. They've got the control on Insania. Charge all the way in, and that finds Skidder. Skidder's going to be hit with another strike. They'll get that kill on the Faceless Void. He's going to have to buy back on this one. They'll look over. Is now into the Shadow Realm is Nine, but is Nine putting out enough damage? Back into the Bedlam. Now looking as the BKB's been popped by Boxy. They've got the Static Storm. It's going to be on a Nine. They'll get the control. They'll get the kill on the Dark Will. He's got buyback as well. With Chrono still available, they have to find an opportunity here to get an opening, but they're just not getting it. They're getting juke throughout the trees. The right clicks, the bash is all onto the Disruptor. But is this really enough, considering the fact that you've used so many buybacks for the side of Tundra? Void almost level 25. Interesting one. Snaking picked up Martyr's Plate. You're going to charge. You're going to go for the Batrider, but now... Lotus Orb and the Stone Gaze used. They're starting to back away on these heroes. Shadow Strike, the time walk in. Skitter onto the high ground. Blade Mail might just lose this Aegis into the Static Storm with the time walk over it. They've got the Rupture. It's on a Sox, a Hill TP back. They've already lost the Aegis. The right clicks in onto Snake King from Zai on this Medusa. As what can Skitter do? He's got Zai control thanks to the Chrono. Look at the right click damage onto this Medusa. They will obliterate him. So in terms of gold that they spent mm -hmm. on items coming into a fight, there's like almost 20,000 unspent gold on Tundra right now. Might get the kill on a Snake King, but he's hard to watch or hard to keep a hand on because he's got that Glimmer Cape. Now they've got the Sentry down. Hex dancing, trying to survive. Now they go after Mickey. They've got the right-click damage from the Shadow Realm. Mickey's in some trouble. The right-click's coming out from Nine. Snake are going to be more than so enough to get the kill. And now Snake King's still alive. They'll go to the charge. They've got themselves a Static Storm. Can they get the kill here? No, they're going to get the Chrono, and they'll finally take out Nine. But Chrono onto this Medusa Skitter. Uh-oh, he's going to get back to full health, but immediately taken down low again. Time walk, and well, Nisha's going forward with Foxy. They take out Snake King. 
They were fighting without 33, without the help of the lasso, as they're still looking to go for more. They've got the charge. It lands. The boots of travel level two. Do you really want to go for this? Yes, you do. There's the lasso. The, the control. Nisha. And now they've got the BKB. It's going to be a chrono once again. Onto the Medusa. They get the kill on the Nisha with the right hooks coming out from the Shadow Realm. Nines looking like Maximilian Pegasus with the Shadow Realm strikes. A triple kill for the Dark Willow. I always get anxious whenever I see Moonshard. This item should be lockable. Good oh. dodge, Manta. And then the rupture, Glimpse, Charge coming in, now looking as they're trying to get some help here from the Faceless Void, TPing in, they go after Nisha, Nisha's gonna blink out. Silence onto the Faceless Void, Shadow Realm strikes from the high ground. Still staying a little bit quiet, there's the charge, they've got the stun, there's the got lasso. Uh-oh, and now, Attic Storm committed. Shadow Realm strikes again, doing some damage here. As they've got the glimpse, but the BKB will stop that glimpse so he can go after Insania and drop the Chrono down onto the Disruptor. He's dead for 75 seconds without buyback. The Shadow Realm damage coming out onto Mickey. Nine going off in this fight. He wants more, but they've got the Hex. They have the buyback coming in from Insania. They should be able to get the kill on a Dark Will, but he does have that Aegis. So he'll serve. He'll come back up and be alive again. Well, they, they go to the refresher. They've got the Chrono. It's going to be on a two. They go after Zai. He doesn't have any mana anymore with the Havoc Hammer dropped by Sata. They get that kill on a Zai. They'll take it on Medusa. He's going to buy back the Blink Over, getting the silence on a nine with charge hitting from Foxy. There's the kill onto the Dark Will. Dead for two minutes, but Foxy's going to fall. He's got buyback. Like I said, the buyback's advantage was there for Liquid, and they're going to come back into the fight knowing that there's no more nine. He's dead for He's two silenced. minutes. They look over and find the Faceless Boy. They'll get the kill there and take out Skitter. Oh, God, the Mind Breaker. Also, Planner Pocket is doing so much. Curse Crown and Dark Willow wants to keep the distance, so you use Lasso. If he has Planner Pocket available, there is buyback. No, not available on Dark Willow for another two and a half minutes. Uh oh, double Lasso. Pop the Lincolns. Now they've got the Hex. But uh, Boxy with the BKB. They've got Soxa moving forward with that Death Shroud down. Flame Break. Landing on a three, they pop the Lincolns once again. They've got the Static Storm, there's gonna be 33 in a lot of trouble. The right coach coming in from Zai with the BKB being popped here. He's just gonna stand his ground and look to get the kill. He's got buyback though. Medusa's out of mana. Potential Roche Fog. Full damage on this Faceless Void. They've got the buyback available now on the Techies. They'll go to the Static Storm. The Blink Forward's gonna be there, but they'll look over at nine. Nine, ooh, Glasso coming through into Insania. He bought back at the high ground defense. They'll go to the Sonic Wave. That's gonna land on a nine. Nine silence up with the right clicks from Zyre coming out just hit. They go to the Refresher. They've got this with the Chrono as well as the Refresh on the Skitter with a BKB. He goes after Zai. Zai with no mana. Another Chrono run on top of him. You're not going anywhere, dude. You're stuck in time. You're not moving at all. There's the Rupture on the Skitter. They look over his Boxy as well as Mickey can't do anything. They get the kill out of the two of them. They've got back available on the Bloodseeker, but everybody else is gone for two minutes as it's a triple kill for the Faceless Void. They're still looking for Nisha. There's the Blink silencing up Soxa. Thanks to the Shard, they go and they get controlling. themselves their hands out of the Queen of Pain. They'll take out Nisha. He's got buyback, uh, but Someone needs gonna to go to, to this bottom lane. Double Catapult Wave is going to be Techies. They used everything to try to go on Dark Willow, but he gets the Shadow Realm, the second Shadow Realm in a fight. Uses all of his time, Queen of Pain, out of mana, and now and they hold, or have Tundra finally done it? Broken the streak, a lasso. That will connect, and Mickey is, well, trying to TP. Nine, though, look at the right click speed. They'll go for the throne, and it is setting up <laughs> nicely to be theirs, and it will be. So Tundra taking the series 2-1 over Team Liquid.